welcome back guys this is the first series of my channel and in this series we are going to make a cross platform chat application just like we did with react but this time we are going to make with android ios using react native and we are also going to make the web version of course and we are going to cover basic topics such as authentication using backend systems with node.js and mongodb so i haven't made it yet so we are going to make it together so this is the first part of the video in which we will make a little backend so let's start okay so we are in vs code so let's open the terminal here and just initialize the projects to initialize the project by the way we use npm init and it will ask you a bunch of questions which are pretty useless but for the sake of the tutorial i'll just do it package name so i'll just do a chat app version i'll remember the same description will be a basic cross platform chat app here we go okay index this is okay test command would be node one index dot js no git repository no keywords author is me MIT license here we go now you will see that this little package.json is created node just created this for you and let's just make an index.js file because it was our entry point if we just uh, look at it this is the main entry point so let's make index.js so here are the packages we will need to make the API so we are making the backend first and for to making the backend and to communicate with the front end we need to make an api so to make an api we will use express so i'll just do npm install express it will take a little bit time since it's a chat application so we need to make sockets which we will get to later but here right here we need to first and make a http server so we we won't be making changes later on but for this video we'll just do like this const express we will just pull in express and uh, now we will initialize an express app so app is equal to express here we go and then let's just do app dot listen uh, here we will just make a port variable so let's just go here const port is equal to process dot env dot port else i need 80 so what does process dot env dot port does is it just like there are some development systems like Heroku sorry deployment system so if you are using Heroku this is important and uh, let's decide to have dot listen port here is the callback function we are using arrow functions every time by the way let me change the spacings operator will mess with us console dot log server then name at port okay so if I just go and type node index okay the server is running at port 80 so basically we didn't design this so that's why it just grabbed 80 so that's how it works uh, let's just make a basic requirement so app.get slash this is the main route so request and response here we go callback function and i'll just do rest.json message server running 
okay so here we go i'll just do npm run test so it will run normal for me by the way you need to have normal install you can just install it globally and use it anywhere so now we are here so let's let's go to chrome and see what happens if we hit the main route okay so we are in chrome and i just hit the local host thing and you just see message server running we just send the json back to browser so that's how we are going to communicate with the client so we are just going to send json data and it will just understand and interpret the data and restore it or just do what it wants to do so let's go back to vs curve now we need to do some bit serious things before going into vs code this is the thing you need to do just go to mongodb atlas so what is a mongodb atlas it's just a database you can use and it's free of cost uh, and it's on the cloud you don't need to install mongodb in your device not at all you can just go to mongodb atlas and um, yeah it has some restrictions like that there is a size restriction there is a database restriction but you can do it like it's pretty good for small projects so if you just go and you can just type any name of database like here so i'll just go ahead and type chat app and in collection name i'll just first will be users and uh, i'll just create okay okay here's the chat app if i go into users by the way these are my other ones so basically you just ignore these and uh, if i just go here and you can just do pretty much everything here so if you go back into um, here and if you just do connect and connect your application you will just get this string just copy this and now let's go to vs code and now we have to use this string to connect to database so let's do that right now yeah like th at the first time mongodb at last would be a bit confusing for you but if you just try it by yourself once it's going to be too easy for you now to keep the code clean we will just go to here and make another folder named connections and in this we will make a file.db.js and in this file we basically need to do connection to your database so i will just open a new terminal because we need to install a library that communicates with the database and uh, basically a good library is mongoose so if i install mongoose it will let me allow connect to mongodb easily so basically tell that i'll just tell you for youtube purposes i just created a new user on mongodb so i would not use my main password and even if you try to use my password it will be changed by the video result so uh, there's no point and the password would be the same in the video only when i'm trying to do the video so don't be that person you can just make a free mongodb account so here so i'll just now it's installed i'll just make a mongoose instance const mongo is equal to require mongoose here we go and now we need to connect so mongo.connect now you can just read this this is very helpful so basically the first parameter is a uri so here we go i'll just paste this thing the database name is chat app chat. and uh, the username is youtube user and the password is test123 and it will be changed so there's no point and options and in options what we have let's see so we use new url parser this would be true and use a new fed topology this is true so basically this is you need to do every time 
so the third parameter would be callback function which would be error and just do this so i'll just save this for the little formatting if we go and in this i'll just throw an error if there's an error so if there's an error so if error uh, i need to manage the spacing so if there's an error just console.log error connecting to mongodb and i'll just basically console.log error sorry console.error error there we go but if there's not an error i'll just console.log connected to mongodb Oh no, I can't type, here we go, and I need to export this, so uh, modules.export equal to pongo connection, I, I do this because this is a separate file and I, I need to use the database in different files. You just include it in one index file and you are done. You don't need to include it again. So I'll just go to index.js and const db is equal to require connections db. Here we go. Now, if you look closely at the console, it should connect to database. Something's wrong. Maybe I didn't save this now. Okay, so modules is not defined. Module dot export. Sorry. Okay, now you see our credentials will write and connected to MongoDB. But if I just mess up the password, so. If I do this and just do it again, it will try to connect, but after some time it will just show that it could not connect. So if we just to wait for a little, like it should have come till now. Basically, yeah, it, it will just show an error. It's not, it's, it's not worth time wasting just to see an error. So if you just go set it back to normal save it it will now connect to mongodb now we need to set an user schema so to do that i'll just i need to make a folder name models so here i will make user.js so what basically are models that you could just save data or retrieve data using models so i need to retrieve some users so i need to do this through models so here we go and uh, let's do this so there are basically three steps to make a model first you make a schema and then make it a model so that sounds confusing i know so let's make mongoose uh, require Mongols. so now we need to make a schema so i'll just name it use the schema basically use a schema just defines what will you store in the database not the values just the fields so if you guys go and you mongo store mongoose dot schema and uh, yeah spacing i forget this every time here you can just do anything so basically we need the username of the user so username would be a string then password would be a string name would be a string so that's how this works and you can also include email but we are not going to do this here 
we are just going to do username name and password that's only important to us so so this is basically how you do it so then if you just uh, this is the schema so to make this a model so just go to make a new model so mongoose dot and here i'll just name users model and i'll just pass in the schema and the collection name is users and i'll just export it user so uh, you can't see this in action right now till we use it properly so this was the first part we, we connected the database and we set up the user schema in the second part we'll just make the login and register thing so it would be just out in two to three days or maybe even earlier so just subscribe to the channel if you just like the content or if you find it useful really helps me a lot so i'll just meet you in the next episode